Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the problems on manometers. So uh, these were the objectives which we have covered in the previous videos and today we will solve the problems on manometers only. So these are the three problems that we will discuss. So coming towards the first problem, in that case we have a tank which contains three types of liquids uh, with different specific gravities that is 0.46 and 0.8 to a height of 1 meter, 2 meter and 3 meter respectively. Three piezometric tubes are attached at the lower level of each liquid and we will assume that the lower level of the tank as the reference level and we have to calculate the height of the liquid level in each of the piezometric tube. So this will be uh, the schematic for the problem. So we have the three liquids which are in a tank and lower level of each of the liquid is you know connected uh, to a piezometric tube. This is first piezometric tube and then the lower level of this liquid is connected to this tube and similarly for the third liquid. So what we have to do, we have to find out H1, we have to find out H2, we have to find out H3. So it is a basic uh, problem uh, regarding your piezometric tubes and remember we will not take into consideration the capillarity effect. The liquid rise due to capillarity we are not taking that into consideration over here. So how we will find out? So first this is your given data specific gravity of uh, the fluids and the height which is also given to you and you have to find out H1, H2, H3. So we know that uh, the pressure is given by specific weight into height or the simple formula is P is equals to rho G H. So what we have to do we will try to use this formula. So in order to find out the pressure at this place at this lower level this level because pressure at the lower level of the fluid P1 uh, uh, will be calculated by using this formula and we will be able to find out the pressure by using the uh, formula that is rho G H. So uh, this is basically the specific gravity uh, of your sorry specific weight of your uh, this liquid. So we have the specific gravity over here. So we will try to convert this uh, specific weight by using this formula specific gravity multiplied by your specific weight of the water because you know the formula for specific gravity is this one which is equals to specific gravity is equals to weight specific weight of the fluid divided by specific weight of the water or density of the fluid by density of the water. So we will use uh, after conversion we will use this formula. So specific weight of the fluid will be given by specific gravity multiplied by specific weight of the water. So we have used this formula over here and y1 is your height which is given to you this one. So we will find out the pressure. So pressure at the lower level is 3924 Newton per meter square. Okay, but we have to convert this pressure, this pressure uh, into the in, in the form of a head. So again that that form, formula will be used. So uh, P is equals to rho GH we will use. So H1 will be equals to P1 by rho G and again by using the appropriate values over here and by putting the values of different uh, unknowns we will find out height that is equals to H1. But here you can see this height is also H1 because since we don't have any fluid over here liquid over here so certainly whatever the height will be there that will be the height in the piezometric uh, tube for this fluid for the fluid which is at the top but this will not be true for the other cases so we will see to that so in that case you can straight away write down that h1 will be equal to the height of the liquid level over here that that h1 
can be you know will be equals to the height of this this level okay so for the first case you can write down or in the case where the water is at or the liquid is at the top level you can write down straight away but this will not be true for these two this one and this one it will not be true so we'll see to it how it will be there similarly if we want to find out the pressure at the lower level certainly the pressure at the lower level will be the pressure exerted by this fluid this fluid and pressure exerted by this fluid both these fluids so p2 is equals to w1 into y1 that is specific weight of your fluid 1 multiplied by y1 this distance and w2 y2 that will be for this fluid so again that is to be converted into you know because specific gravity is given to us so we will convert and put these values over here we will get p2 and after putting the appropriate values we will get p2 that is equals to 15696 newton per meter square so this will be the pressure which will be at this lower level so what will be you know uh, the pressure head in terms of the liquid level so again we will use uh, the formula which we used in the previous case this one this one formula we will use over here so h2 is equals to p2 divided by rho 2 g but p2 is what p2 is the total pressure which is acting over this point okay so we'll put the value over here and uh, again we will convert this rho 2 and rho 2 uh, will certainly be converted by using the formula over here this formula so it will be uh, 0.6 multiplied by 1000 into 9.81 so after calculation we will get h2 is equals to 2.67 meter so this height this height this height is equal to 2.67 so here you can see for this fluid it is not equals to 2 because we have some other fluid which is exerting some pressure on that and that pressure can be given in terms of the head of that liquid level so that will not be equals to uh, this two meters so it will change as i told you that it will be different so that h2 is equals to 2.67 meters similarly we have to find out for the third case wherein we have to first of all find out the pressure at this level and then we will similarly convert that pressure in terms of the water in terms of the head of this liquid so we have to find out h3 so again here p3 will be equals to w1 into y1 w2 into y2 w3 into y3 similarly we'll put the values as we have done in the previous this case in in this case we'll put the values over here and finally we'll get p2 that is 30,000 38,610 uh, newton per meter square or simply you can write it in kilo newton per meter square so again in terms of the head it will be h3 divided equals to p3 by rho 3 into g and we'll put the value of rho 3 over here by using this formula as i've told you this formula we'll use and certainly uh, by calculating that we will get h3 which is equals to 4.92 meters so the pressure in terms pressure had in terms of you know liquid level will be given by for both uh, for all these three cases given by h1 equals to 1 meters h2 equals to 2.67 meters and h3 equals to 4.92 meters and which is uh, you know uh, different for the these two cases you can see that h3 is different over here h2 is different over here in comparison to this level So coming towards the next problem that we have so in that case we have a youtube differential manometer which is attached to a pipeline inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal the pressure between the lower and the higher levels of the pipe where two limbs of the manometer are connected is uh, 76 kilo newton per meter square we have to take the length of the pipe between the two points in where where the pipe uh, between the two points in a pipe where the manometer is connected that is equals to one meter we have to calculate the difference in the level of the mercury in two limbs of the manometer so 
in that case uh, this is your given data angle of inclination 45 pressure difference 76 kilonewton per meter square and length of the pipe section under consideration is one meter and we have to find out the difference in the level of the mercury so the schematic diagram over here is there uh, you can see that there is an inclined pipe which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees so two points are there between the pipes to which the manometer is connected you can see there the difference between these two points pressure difference between these two points is 76 as it is told to you and also uh, the length between these two points one and two is one meters So first of all, difference between these two levels is important. What is that difference? That is your H1 minus H2. You can understand if you are taking it as H1 and if you are taking it as H2. So this, this difference is H1 minus H2. So we will take a sine of 45 H1 minus H2 divided by L. L is given to us. So H1 minus H2 is equal to this. So what principle we use in case of nanometers, you know that this principle is used, used that the pressure above x, y line will be equated in order to find out the unknowns. So what we will do, pressure acting at this point, pressure due to this liquid level and pressure due to this liquid level will be equated to the pressure this due to this liquid level and pressure at this point. So P1 then rho w into g h1 minus h m so this will be h1 minus h m means the pressure for this one so rho w is because we have the water over here so we can straight away use the density of the water multiplied by your acceleration due to gravity then rho m into g into h m because now we have the manometric fluid or we can denoted by rho m so we will write the density of the mercury or manometric fluid g into hm that is that is your unknown and that will be equal to the pressure at this point p2 and rho w because we have the water over here so rho w to g into h2 so uh, the difference in the liquid uh, difference in, in the pressure between two points p2 and p1 is given to us so we will arrange the equations accordingly p2 minus p1 will P equal to uh, this term then so after simplification we have this term so we will put the values P2 minus P1 is 76,000 or 76 kilo Newton per meter square so we'll put the other values also density of water is 1000 acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 and H1 minus H2 from here uh, we'll put over here that is 0.707 then we have the density of the mercury and that again will be used as we have used in the previous formula that will be multiplied by your specific gravity and it is 13 specific gravity of mercury is 13.6 multiplied by 1000 into 9.81 and these are basically the unknowns hm so after rearranging these equations and solving this equation we will get the value of hm that is the height of uh, the manometric fluid or which is mercury in this case is 0.559 meters so this is basically an unknown so coming towards the last uh, problem on the manometers so in that case we have uh, a youtube differential manometer which is connected to a pipe uh, with water on one side the water is connected as a fluid and under which is at, at the pressure of 1.4 bar and the other side is connected to a pipe which is having some oil which is under some pressure 2 bars the difference between the level of the two pipes is 4 meters and the pipe containing the water is above the pipe containing oil also the level of the manometric fluid that is mercury in the limb containing water is 6 meters below the level of the pipe so we have basically three fluids in this case you can recognize one is your water another is your oil and third one is the manometric fluid that is your mercury so 
this will be the case we have a pipe a and we have another pipe b and in the between these two pipes this your manometer is connected that is a u-tube manometer which is connected and as per the given conditions uh, the difference between these two pipes is 4 meter which is given over here 4 meters it is 4 meters and uh, it contains water which is also given and it contains oil and we have another fluid which is you know that is mercury which is in between these two um, in, in between this manometer so uh, the pressure pa is given to us 1.4 bar pressure pb is given to us 1.2 that is 2 bar specific gravity is also given to us for both the fluids so uh, the difference between the levels of pipe A and pipe B as I've told you is also given to us. So this is that difference which is given over here and the difference between the level of pipe A and top level of the mercury this this level between this level that is your H1 it is given to us as 6 meters. So we have to find in this scale so case also we have to find out the difference in the level of the mercury that is your HM. We have to find out. So first of all from the figure uh, you can see we will uh, we can find out what H2 will be because we have to find out this value. So H2 plus 4 you can see from this equation H2 plus 4 is equals to hm plus h1 and h1 is certainly it is 6 so you can you'll get h2 as 2 plus hm so we will use the principle which we are using uh, in case of manometers and the pressure at point a plus the pressure due to this liquid level and the pressure due to this one will be equals to the pressure due to this oil and the pressure at point B. So you can recognize that in uh, in in that case we'll have uh, we'll have the three terms one two and three which will be equated to these two terms. You can well recognize that. So we have these three terms over here PA plus rho WG into H1 as we have done in the previous case plus rho MG into HM which will be equals to PB into rho O g into h2 m is your mercury over here subscript we have used w is your water and rho o is your oil so again we will put the values what we whatever we have with us so pa we have that is 1.4 because it is in bar so we'll convert it into si units 1.4 into 10 raised to 5 plus 1000 into 9.81 into 6 which is given to us so we have the other values for this also so these values uh, will be you know equated and we will have the unknowns over here. So you can uh, see that we have H2 over here that is unknown and HM that we have to calculate. So H2 we will uh, will use from this equation which we have you know find in the previous case. So we'll put the value of h2 over here and uh, we have the unknowns hm and hm over here so we'll rearrange this equation after putting all the values and we will get that hm that is the difference in the level of the mercury is equals to 0.134 meters and certainly we can convert that into centimeters so this is the unknown which we uh, we're trying to find out in this equation in this uh, numerical problem so hm that is the difference between the mercury levels 13.4 centimeters so in all the numericals related to your manometers we will use on the same principle that we will try to equate the pressure at x and y in terms of the heights of the fluid above the xy plane so we'll try to do that in each and every case so we can uh, find out or we can calculate whatever uh, is required to be calculated uh, as per the question or as per the problem by using the simple equation. The, so this equation is very much important.
in order to find out the unknowns in this case. So these were the books which were referred during the course of action. And I thank you very much for watching this video. And in this video, we have taken into consideration the numerical problems on manometers. And in the next video, we will be talking about the numerical uh, problems on stability of submerged and floating bodies. So thank you very much.